Terry Tillman with the City of Topeka. I'm Production Manager for the Street Department, and I've been with them for 25 years. Sal Maldonado, Night Manager, been with the City for 21 years. Wayne Bright, Equipment Operator, been with the City six years. Tina Schmidt, Equipment Operator for 25 years. David Borden, I'm an Equipment Operator for the Street Department. I've been with the City four and a half years. Tim Lears, Equipment Operator, been with the City 12 years. Hello and welcome to our pregame show. I'm sitting here with the Superintendent of Transportation Operations, Ron Rains. So I guess the first question we wanted to start with was, you know, what's our preseason been like? What kind of training have our snowplow teams gone through? Well, there's a couple of things we do training-wise every year, Allie. Uh, the most important one to me is our in-house training. Uh, we set up a course uh, here in one of the city parking lots. That work also leads us to uh, uh, staff attending the KC Metro Snow Rodeo. We send folks over there for the advanced training, and then there's a competition element of the, of the event, too, that uh, our folks do real well in. Right. We took home, I think, 24 trophies this year. I believe you're right. This was the fourth year in a row that we won the team competition. Uh, so it, it just shows the dedication and experience that we have out on the streets in any winter event. We interviewed Terry for something else too and while he was talking he said something about how our snowplow guys know the route so well they don't even need to see the road signs. A lot of them, that's true. They have done it for so many years that they know where every street in this town is. So I know we have an award-winning team. We've gone through a lot of training. What's the game plan? If we start monitoring uh, weather systems two and three days out to get a feel for what the, the particular system is going to bring to us. What roads do we hit first? Due to our, the, our location, Topeka Boulevard and some of the uh, arterials leading out of the downtown area are the first ones. What's an arterial? What are some of those? Topeka Boulevard. Southwest 21st Street, Southwest 29th Street. Arterials are those streets that are the largest streets that carry the, the most amount of traffic. And local streets are like your typical neighborhood streets. Yes, they're the lowest traffic uh, volume streets and they are traditionally your residential streets. So we also have specific tactics and formations when it comes to clearing streets. So let's go to Terry Tillman, our street production manager. Uh, to see how we tackle a specific street. Uh, we use a uh, three-tiered uh, plowing system. The first truck is put on the center line of the road. The second truck is staged uh, right behind it, off-center. The third truck is directly behind it, off-center from the second truck. Our vehicles will make two to three passes up and down the road, and we will send a single truck back to touch up any areas where need be and treat where need be. The big benefit to this is I can do it quicker and I can open up more roads quicker. The crews start out at 201 North Topeka and head straight for the arterials, which you see on the map in red. These are our emergency snow routes and the most traveled streets in Topeka, so like 21st Street and 29th Street. From there, depending on direction from city management, the snowplow crews either go to collectors, which you'll see in purple on the map, or they'll go into the local streets, which you see in gray. We'll let you know on social media if we're going to plow your local street. Social media like Nextdoor, Facebook, and Twitter. Now we know some specifics, but I think I've got to ask the question that's on everyone's mind. When are you going to plow my street? Good question, Allie. Uh, it varies from event to event how long it takes us to clear uh, any particular street. Depending on the amount of snow, our goal is to have all arterial streets uh, cleared curb to curb within 24 hours from the end of snowfall. The end of the snowfall? Correct. Okay. Our secondary goal is to uh, have all of those residential streets cleared within 24 hours from when we complete arterials. Okay. Again, that's a pretty aggressive goal and we will shoot for that, but uh, to clear 1,532 lane miles of streets here in Town Alley does take a considerable amount of time. I think you said that's from Topeka to San Diego. 1,500 miles will get you pretty close to somewhere in California, and if folks would just kind of think about that, especially when uh, you get into local street plowing, that work occurs at five to 10 miles an hour. It takes a little longer to get it done than sometimes folks realize. 
as a resident, you know, what can I do to help? Uh, we always encourage folks to uh, not clear out their driveways till the snow plows have been through the area because uh, when we do plow, we will plow a berm of snow into the mouth of every driveway. We recognize the challenge that that poses for folks, but we don't have the manpower or the resources to clear out every single driveway when we're plowing in residential areas. Is there a number or someone I could call? 368-3111 and someone will get back to them after the event. Uh, any emergency that needs to be dealt with during a snow event should be called into law enforcement. So how do our plows sync up with the 911 center? Through the snow room, uh, we have, anytime any of our trucks are running, we activate our snow room uh, down at 201 North Topeka. We have staff in there 24-7. Uh, they are the liaison between law enforcement, fire, uh, the call center, and our operators out in the field. New from the snow room this year, we're going to have an almost live GPS tracking of our snow plows up on our winter weather page. Yes, we will uh, have someone in the snow room updating uh, a color-coded citywide map. It's not 100% real time yet, but we're getting close. And that'll be on our winter weather page, which is www.topeka.org backslash winter weather. And thanks for watching.